Welcome back. This is Stephanie with Trillium Tarot. And for this video, I am going to show you th the cards that are a part of the Guardian of the Night Tarot deck. Now I am showing um, on the overlay, I am showing one photo of the cover of the box. Uh, in the main picture here, you see the photo of the box that actually came with my tarot deck when I purchased it. So I'm sure that one is just a more recent version than the other. Uh, the book that came with my deck shows a copyright of 2020, so I'm not sure if mine is the my deck here is the second version or the first version, but I figured I'd show you what they look like. One thing that I really like in this booklet that came along with this deck is, um, let's see if I can get it to show here. There we go. Uh, I have not seen this before. Questions from the Major Arcana. So. For example, if you pull the Fool card, you can ask, are you letting the fears or opinions of others prevent you from taking a leap of faith? For the Magician, what is your magic power and are you using it? So I am keeping this booklet out because I think that those um, questions might come in handy for my own study. Uh, you will notice uh, as, I, as you work through the videos that I'm doing and uploading, you will notice that once I find an artist that I like, I continue to purchase their decks. So you can see that the artist of this Guardian of the Night Tarot is MJ Cullinane, I think is how it's pronounced. This is the same artist that did uh, the Crow Tarot. And I know I've done a video of the Crow Tarot before. So same artist, uh, just a different deck. Now with this, this, this deck is definitely not beginner friendly because it does have, at least for the major arcana, let me check quickly. Oh, even the minor arcana it, arcana, it does have the name of the card at the bottom of the deck. But this deck has animals as representations on the cards. So uh, this is the fool card. You see the wolf and the bunny. The magician, of course, is a, <laughs> a raccoon with their grabby little hands. They can do anything they want with those hands. The high priestess. That upside down bat that happens to be the cover of my tarot deck, or the box that came with my tarot deck. The Empress is the fox, and you see the representation of her den in the winter, curling up to keep warm. And also the butterfly, or the lunar moth, actually, I believe is what it is. The Emperor is the great horned owl, and also looks like a sheep down there. Yep, it's a ram. <laughs> you should see me. I had to take off my glasses and try and get my head really close to the card without having my hair on camera. So if you saw my hair, that's what I was doing. The Hierophant is the big mouse teaching the little mice about the ins and outs of how to get into the bakery and cafe to get their food or their treats or their snacks. The Lovers, again, there's a lunar moth at the top. There's the, I think this is the Caduceus the symbol of with the two snakes on the staff. And the scorpions represent the lovers where their tails make the heart. The chariot is the badger. The strength card is a mouse actually charming the snake. Hermit would be the spider. And here's the wheel of fortune. Actually, I think that that owl is the same owl that is, let's see, is it on that way? Yeah, on the cover of the deck. It looks very similar to me. We'll see if we come across another white owl as we go through the deck here. Um, Justice is a bat with wings outspread standing on the scales. And the hanged man is an opossum hanging out by his tail. Here we go, here's another white owl. This is the death card. He's already got the mouse in his claws. Temperance is some kind of frog. And I'm sure this book has the specific descriptions of what all the animals are, but I'm just kind of winging it here. The devil would be a jackalope with a skull for a face. The tower. 
And the star is a beautiful buck with a star between the horns. The moon, I'm guessing that this is a coyote, actually, that's fishing. Could be a wolf, I suppose. Uh, but not, regardless, nocturnal animal tends to hide away during the day and come out and do its activities at night. Whereas the sun, the panther or cougar or whatever this big cat is, just does whatever it wants, whenever it wants, and nobody's going to stop it. <laughs> the judgment card, the transformation card, it's very fitting that uh, it's showing the, the snake shedding its old skin and moving forward with the new um, exterior skin. And the world card. This is very appropriate because the world would not, I mean, we would not have food. We would not have anything without bumblebees. <laughs> we wouldn't have the plants growing to provide crops or trees, you know, for oxygen. So I think it's really appropriate that this world card incorporates the bee. And it does have the wreath. You know, usually you see the the, re the green circle representing the world. It's that, that kind of wreath-like. This B card, this world card does have the wreath at the top of it. So now let's look at the Ace of Swords. We have some bats in the, the background there in the corners. Here we have the Two of Swords. Reminds me of a tree frog, although I'm not certain if that's it, exactly what it's supposed to be or not. All right, the Three of Swords. Can't figure out what the animal is on the bottom there. Oh, that's just a feather, actually. Interesting. Here we have the Four of Swords. The Five of Swords. Again, that's kind of appropriate because in the spring, the bucks, you know, have velvet on their horns, and later on they end up um, fighting over the does. <laughs> when it's that time of year. The Six of Swords. Sweet looking tortoise there. Turtle. Yeah, turtle, not tortoise. I don't know. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. <laughs> we have the Seven of Swords. The Eight of Swords. The Nine of Swords. And the Ten of Swords. Here's the Page of Swords. The Knight of Swords. Here we go. The Queen of Swords. That's the one that's on the cover of this box on that overlay. Oh, where are we? There we go. Wow. Now I understand why all the readers that I follow have a hard time pointing the right direction when they're aiming at each other. So yeah, the cover of that box is the Queen of Swords. And here we have the King of Swords. So let's move on to wands. I know everybody loves spiders, so I'm sure you'll be really excited to see that a spider is the Ace of Wands. Then we have the Two of Wands, the male and female lion, and male and female something or other up there. Here's the Three of Wands and the Four of Wands. The Five of Wands. <laughs> the Lemur <laughs> for the Six of Wands with the wreath there indicating victory or celebration, something along those lines, something positive. Here's the Seven of Wands. And the Eight of Wands flying through the air. Here's the Nine of Wands. The fox is staying away from the porcupine. And here's the Ten of Wands. So the representation of the wands in here must be these little guys. Uh, that must be salmon climbing up a salmon ladder uh, for spawning in the spring. I'll quiz myself later. Here's the Page of Wands, the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and 
finally, the King of Wands. So now we'll move on to the Cups. <clears throat> so here is the Ace of Cups. The Two of Cups. I like that. The partnered up elephants there. Now uh, the Three of Cups, again with those raccoons, <laughs> the grabby little hands. And the reason I say grabby little hands is on more than one occasion when I was growing up, um, my grandparents had birdseed in the garage. So once in a while, usually a young raccoon would be trying to raid the birdseed and he would fall into the metal trash can. They kept the birdseed in metal trash can so there could be a lid on it. Somehow the little buggers would get in there and not be able to get out. And, and you really don't want to mess with a raccoon. Um, so all my grandpa did is hang one of those orange extension cords into the trash can and the, the well, one time he did an extension cord and another time it was just a, a two by four or something, but they were able to climb out just on that extension cord because they have those grabby little hands. <laughs> Here's the four of cups. And the five of cups looks like the death's head moth. Um, from Silence of the Lambs, which is appropriate because this is the card of grief and loss. The Six of Cups. Here's the Seven of Cups. Bunny's looking at all those choices in the sky. The Eight of Cups. Oh, pretty, pretty um, peacock. I'm looking at so many animals that I'm finding myself not quite able to find the right word to describe the animal on the card. The Page of Cups. The Knight of Cups. Beautiful swan. The Queen of Cups. And the King of Cups. Must be um, male and female orcas there as the king and the queen. So let's move over to our final suit, which is the suit of pentacles. Another owl for the ace of pentacles. And then we have the two of pentacles, the dolphins. Looks like the yin yang symbol. Three of pentacles. The hunter and the prey. Four of pentacles. The Five of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, big old ox with a bird on his head. The Seven of Pentacles, spider with the egg sacs. Eight of Pentacles, big old bee on the front there. And the honeycomb being filled. Nine of Pentacles. Bear in hibernation has everything that he needs. And the Ten of Pentacles. The last four cards. The Page of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. Oh, that's a cute one. The Queen of Pentacles. And finally, yeah, male and female, there's the King of Pentacles. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you found it helpful. Please do like the video to help out the channel. Uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel so you get notifications of new videos as I post them. And feel free to visit my website to explore um, different resources that I've already posted. I am continually working on the website. So if you don't see what you're looking for precise, excuse me, precisely on your first visit, feel free to go back because it is a work in progress. And definitely, uh, I would really appreciate it if you would provide feedback in the comments below this video. So thank you very much, and we will see you next time.